Hey everyone, welcome to a desk and shelf tour. So a lot of you have been asking about this and I wanted to film it before moving out of this particular room. So this is a setup that I did based on what was available and the shelf was already built in. So it's basically a three row shelf and a desk. So let's have a look at my stuff. First, I have this IKEA clock it's analog i really like looking at it it's my go-to clock because in manila i have the same clock so it just like is programmed into my brain to look at this clock to know what time is it and beside it is my kodak ektar h35 film camera it's my new camera and i'll talk more about it in a future video i also have my archive travel journals which houses my 2022 journals and also my inserts that are miscellaneous so most of these are on the shelf area because i need to see them and like i also need to reach for them so it's just easier to find i also have some of my published books as well as some of the books that i am currently reading it's just a small stack so i don't really store a lot of physical books anymore because i'm always in transit and i don't really have a long-term place yet so with my stationery i also don't have a, that much here in berlin so i have these mini boxes from h&m home that i just repurposed and labeled for washi tapes and stamps this is a present and correct green calculator not that i had to say it was green but it was given to me by christine my biz bestie of everyday explorers co as a parting gift when i visited her in san francisco also on my shelf you will find my journal stack so as i mentioned i really want to make things easier to reach especially if i have to do a certain activity or task like journaling so this stack was really um, helpful in that regard so i had no excuse and i could just reach out and pull a journal and start updating it i also have a couple of things that i kind of associate with home so this is a wooden perpetual calendar that i created and i used to sell it in my shop so it's just nice to have this like you know little reminder of something that i made and beside it is actually my timer it's a physical timer that i still use for work and for getting things done i have a lot of little trinkets and reminders from my trips but most of all i also have my watercolor toolkit as you can see here i haven't used watercolor in a while so i definitely have to pull this out again and maybe take you in on a watercolor trip when i travel in the near future i also have these caveco tins so you get them every time you purchase a certain fountain pen so i have both sizes and i use it to store my caveco fountain pens which is really handy because i know that in the box there are caveco fountain pens it's just easier to associate that way i also have my first film camera it's kind of wonky at the moment but it's still working so this is the canon sure shot owl and it's one of my favorite cameras it's a point and shoot i also have my favorite scent so this is from Zara Home. It's a salted caramel diffuser. My room used to smell like caramel. I love caramel. Behind it are my fountain pen inks. I really love the packaging of them, so I kept them on display. And then to the left, you have my decks, books, and magazines. So I try to rotate what is currently on display. So I do have basic ones like my tarot decks, my oracle deck that I co-designed, and as well as stationary books and when i went home to manila i also brought back some zines and magazines for inspiration i really like looking at physical items for design ideas as well as these pepin sticker books that i use frequently for journaling so on the left hand side i have this crate set up with ebby and my lego sunflowers so the crate actually is a mess but it has a lot of things like my labeler other journals other supplies that i might need on hand on the topmost shelf i have traveler's notebook boxes from the limited edition sets i just felt like it was nice to display and a little few more quirks that obviously i can't reach for but it's nice to have on display i also have some berlin inspired books i like berlin stuff obviously because i live here but um yeah i have typography books and other inspirational stuff so yeah it's it's not really a very comprehensive setup but it, it 
pretty much sums up a really nice short-term setup that worked for me. So I do hope you enjoyed this little tour. I sadly wasn't able to film that much towards the end because I got injured. More on that next time. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. And hopefully in a future desk tour in a new room. Bye!